Meanwhile, in Scioto County, a 92-year-old man lost his life in a fatal car crash early this morning. 13 News reporter Lane Ball has where it happened and how it happened. Burton Colvin of New Boston tragically lost his life earlier today when he ran his car into an abutment here along Ohio River Road. The neighbors say this area is known for frequent accidents. Around 9.45 a.m. on Sunday, Scioto County Dispatch received a call on a single vehicle crash at the intersection of Gallia Street, Ohio River Road, and Hastings Hill Road. 92-year-old Burton Colvin was behind the wheel. According to the Ohio State Highway Patrol, Colvin was driving his 2004 Honda Accord eastbound on Gallia Street when he drove off the right side of the roadway and struck this overpass abutment. Colvin sustained life-threatening injuries as a result of the crash and died on the scene. He is not suspected of being impaired, but the crash is still under investigation. And no further details on the cause of the accident have been released at this time. Ohio State Highway Patrol did note that Colvin was not wearing a seatbelt at the moment of impact. We spoke with Scioto County Sheriff David Thurman on this incident. He says he cannot release details on this case, but is encouraging anyone out on the road to buckle up. I've been in law enforcement for almost 34 years now, and I've uh, responded to a large number of crashes, and there have been a number of individuals that have not been seat belted in that I believe would have had a different outcome if they were. Thurman says he's been in several situations where even younger children were not properly buckled up. I have uh, stopped a mother that uh, ran a stop sign uh, well above the speed limit and her child was standing on the seat. So if uh, uh, she did end up getting in a crash, uh, the child would have uh, thrown uh, through the windshield. Along Gallia Street, neighbors I spoke with say they've noticed on multiple occasions cars traveling well above the speed limit. They say they're hoping for more patrols in the area to hopefully discourage such actions. And we will continue to update this story as more information becomes available. Reporting in Portsmouth, Lane Ball, 13 News, working for you.